Good day. In this video, I'll be discussing about method number two, reducing speed. To start with, let's proceed to our problem. Four are given. Your vessel is on course zero, zero, zero degrees through with a speed of 12 knots. The target was observed with the following data as follows. The first observed position time is at 1200 hours. Bearing is at 0, 060 0 degrees true, having a distance of 11.0 miles. The second observed position time is at 120600 hours. Bearing 0, 060 0 degrees true, distance 9.0 miles. The last observed position time is at 12, 1200 hours having the same bearing of 0, 060 0 degrees true with a distance of 7.0 miles. Collision has been observed to be imminent and your course of action are as follows. Letter A, to establish a two miles danger zone or your new CPA. Letter B, to reduce speed at 12, 1800 hours, that is your TMX so that you will let the target pass ahead of your vessel. For the required, number one, SRM, number two, RMX, number three, BMX, number four, new DRM, number five, new BCPA, number six, new SRM, number seven, new time of CPA, and number eight, new on speed. And now to proceed to our plotting. First, you have to write your given your own course, zero, zero, zero degrees two, your own speed that is 12 knots, your new CPA that is two nautical miles, your TMX that is 12, 1800 hours. Next, for the required, SRM, RMX, BMX, new DRM, new BCPA, new SRM, new TCPA, and new on speed. Before you begin, you have to write your time interval. That is M minus your R. Time at M is at 12, 1200 hours minus time at R, that is 1200 hours. That's gonna be 12 minutes. First, you have to establish your own course, that is zero degrees through. The center will be your letter E. Next process would be to establish your distance from E to R. So you have to determine your small r. In order to do that, you have to solve for the distance, having the formula on speed multiplied by the time interval divided by 60. So for your own speed, you have 12 knots. The time interval is 12 minutes divided by 60. So your distance from E to R would be 2.4 nautical miles. So you have to measure 2.4 by using your compass divider. Since you're using the 12 mile scale. So measure 2.4. In the said scale. After measuring 2.4, bring this to point E. So this will now be your small r. So we have to erase the excess. Next to proceed with our target. So the target data are as follows given here. So the bearing is zero six zero degrees two so this is 50 this is 60.
to adjust your triangle, see to it when you draw a line, it should be exactly at 0, 6, 0. Next, for the distance, given the distance, it is 11 miles. Measure 11 miles. There, 11 miles. Next distance would be nine miles. The last distance is seven miles. Place it at E and stand. This will now be your target's first observed position, followed by the second. And lastly, the third observed position. We'll label this as small r. This will be labeled as small m. So based on our given, the PMX is at 12, 1800 hours since the last observed position time is at 12, 12. So you'll be extending your line somewhere here. It would be somewhere in this particular area. For the next process, you have to solve for your SRM. Solve for the SRM. So given the formula, SRM is equal to distance, distance from R to M, divided by the time interval, multiplied by 60. So you have to measure the distance that is from R to M. You'll be measuring the distance of R to M, or better yet, you have to subtract 7 from 11 or otherwise you could measure it. So seven from 11. So that's gonna be four, four miles. So the distance from R to M, R to M, that is four nautical miles, divided by the time interval that is 12 minutes. multiplied by 60 would give us an SRM of 20, 20 knots. Next process would be to determine the distance of MX from M. So to do this, since the TMX is given that is 12, 1800 hours. Minus the last observed position time. The last observed position time here is 12, 1200 hours. The first is at 12. So 1218 minus 1212. 12, would give us a travel time of 6 minutes. So the vessel will be traveling 6 minutes before arriving in the TMX. Since we now have our travel time, the next process would be to measure the distance that is from M towards MX. So to do this, you have our formula SRM multiplied by the travel time divided by 60. So our SRM, SRM here is 20 knots. 
multiplied by the travel time that is six minutes divided by 60. So the distance would be two nautical miles. So you'll be measuring two miles by using your compass divider. So measure two, place it at point M here, point M and stand the line, stand the arc. And that arc will become your MX. This will now be your MX because your TMX is at 12, 18, 100 hours. So the distance measured here is two, two miles. So for the next process would be how to determine the RMX. That is the distance from E to your MX. Since the last observed position distance is seven miles from your own ship's position, minus two miles. So the distance from E to MX would be five miles. So your RMX would be five miles. If you want to confirm the distance, you could measure it by using your compass divider. Five miles. Now we have to establish our new SRM, but before doing it, before doing our solving our SRM, we have to establish our new CPA that is. So the new CPA is two nautical miles. Since we are using the 12 mile scale, so obviously each ring is equivalent to two miles. So anywhere within this area, within this arc here, is your new CPA that is two miles. So all you have to do is connect your MX to your new CPA. So after connecting your MX to your NCPA, this will now become your new RML line. Do not move your triangle. Place another triangle to act as your support and slide it towards the center. Bring it towards the center in your position, ship's position, and extend a line. This line will now be your new, new D R M. That's your new D R M. By moving your triangle 
towards M. Later on. So you would establish your new on speed. Okay, we now have our new RML, our new DRM. We have to transfer our chips course on course towards R in order to form a triangle. Place one side of the triangle at E to R and another one to act as your support and slide it towards R. And adjust your triangle. See to it when you draw a line, it should be at the center. Next, measure the same distance from E to R. And place it at R and draw an arc. Complete your vector triangle. This will now be your E, that's your R. And erase the excess. Continue with our plotting. We now have our new RML, new, new DRM. So all you have to do is bring this bring this line towards M. Take note, it will only reach until your own course line. The line for your own course because we will not be altering our speed. We will not be altering our course, I mean, but rather we will be reducing our speed. In method number two, we are to reduce our speed without altering our said course. To continue with our computation. This will now become your R prime. We have our formula to solve for R new SRM. Given the formula, new SRM is equal to distance, that is, from R1 to M, divided by the time interval, that is, 12 minutes, multiplied by 60. So you have to measure this distance. So that's 3.4. 3.4 miles. So the distance from R1 to M would be 3.4. divided by the time interval that is 12 times 60. 
So our new SRM would be 70 knots. Now going back to our required, we have our SRM already, our RMX. The bidding of the MX, for the bidding of the MX, all you have to do is draw a line from your center towards MX, since it is very obvious that the target position is moving in the same bearing that is 0, 060. 0. So obviously the BMX would be 0, 060. 0. Our new DRM here that is 264, 264 degrees through. You already saw it. next item would be the new BCPA. For the new BCPA, all you have to do is place one side of the triangle here. This our new RML and place the one having the 90 degrees towards E. and adjust your triangle adjust your triangle in a way we're in when you draw a line it should be exactly in your position here. So this will be your new BCPA, your new CPA, this is your new CPA here. This will now be your new BCPA, that is three, five, four degrees through. So we're done with our new BCPA. We already computed our new SRM. The next would be to solve for the travel time. The travel time that is from MX towards our new CPA to get our new time of CPA here. New time of CPA. This particular area. So to do this, You have to measure the distance from MX towards the new CPA divided by the new SRM. So measure the distance by using your compass divider. Bring it in the scale to determine the said distance. That's 4.5. So the distance would be 4.5 miles. So the distance from MX to NCPA is 4.5 miles divided by the new SRM that is 70 knots multiplied by 60.
So the travel time would be 16 minutes. 16 minutes from your MX to your new CPA. To solve for the new time of CPA given your TMX, that is called 1800 hours, plus the travel time we just computed a while ago, that is 16 minutes. would give us a new time of CPA of 12, 34, 100 hours. So this would be 12, 34, 100 hours. 12, 34, 100 hours. For the last item, new on speed to solve for our new on speed, all you have to do is measure the distance. That is from E to R1. Measure the distance, E to R1. Place it in your scale. One mile. So measure this distance. So one, one nautical mile divided by the travel, the time interval that is 12 minutes times 60. So our new on speed would be rounded off to five knots. For a bonus item, E to M, when connected, this becomes your target through force. This would be your target through force. That is two, seven, nine degrees through. Target through force. So this ends our discussion about method number two, that is reducing speed. So do hope you learned something with this video. Thank you and God bless everyone.